Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to UI Breakfast. Today we'll do a teardown of Tito, which is simple, powerful event software that has become an industry standard for professional events lately. And before we start the teardown, I'd love to mention that such kind of complex software usually has two sides of it. One is the admin side, uh, which is used for editing, adding new events. And the other is client facing side, which manages the actual purchasing process. I know one of the biggest advantages of Tito and their biggest benefits is the ease of the purchasing process. But today I'm going to dive into the admin side and show you how Tito solves their complex navigation problem and uh, what can be maybe improved a little bit about that. So here's the home page, uh, uh, here's the home site. Let's have a look at the dashboard. This is the main dashboard and even though it isn't fancy, I'd like to point out that it's done really great. What we have here is the brief overview of stats over the last uh, event and uh, the right hand side shows uh, the list of objects, list of recent events. And this is great because usually dashboard kind of conceal that list of object and objects and the user has to do a couple more clicks to dive into there. So here is my uh, workshop that I created today. So the stats are almost blank yet because I haven't started promotion. And uh, we're shown a dashboard. Mm. Let's walk through the UI elements here. On the top, we have breadcrumbs, which is an amazing way of managing things if you are dealing with multiple home pages or dashboards. And you really can't avoid that if it's a complex app. So this is a link showing to the client facing site uh, called the event homepage. On the left, we have a variety of items um, that control the settings of this event. So number one is dashboard. Um, number two is tickets, which shows um, various uh, settings for the tickets, etc., etc. Uh, we have orders, attendees, messages, and customization. So the first thing I'd love to point out uh, is that uh, such three column layout, it's a little bit crowded, but it's a perfect way to streamline the performance for complex apps. Because, uh, for example, in MailChimp, we have this kind of list here. And in order to edit or view a separate entry, for example, view separate profile, we have to browse to a separate page, which takes a bit of browser time. This way, we're kind of streamlining the process for the user and, he, and they can quickly switch from I, one item to the other. So if you have a complex situation, consider uh, doing that instead of switching to separate views, even though separate views are, of course, inevitable if there is just a ton of things. Because the big conditions for doing this is making sure that the left side and the right side aren't over complicated, but Tito is doing a pretty good job on this. Another thing I'd like to point out is that event customization uh, here, which isn't exactly customization, it's actually the core event settings are for some reason put on the very bottom of this list, while they should definitely be somewhere on top. So the most typical use case, um, I would say couple, for the person who manages events on a regular basis, uh, one is uh, having a look at the number of tickets sold, but that was available from the home page, so you don't really have to show it immediately. And the other is uh, tinkering with some kind of event settings, changing information on the home page, and doing stuff like that. For this reason, I do strongly believe that customize should be replacing the dashboard here in the left side menu. So here we have a number of settings. And one more time, I would like to say that home page, which, which is very important, the workshop description and everything, is um, not on, on the first page at all. So I would really consider moving it somewhere close to the top. And uh, there is a number of other settings. So since these settings do control the whole event very much, 
The perfect way of doing things would be putting customize in the first item so that this big sub menu is visible to the user immediately. Please don't hide such complex structures and like second level menus somewhere that the person has to browse. If you have a complex menu somewhere, put it in the number one and make it available from the first site. But generally speaking, I think Tito is doing a really good job because you have to manage a ton of things with these events. Uh, so just a couple takeaways. Dashboard, once again, might not be necessary. Also think about strategic order of elements on your menu. And uh, three column menu can be a great way of managing objects when everything else is not so complicated. So thank you Tito for the great software. And I hope these takeaways will help you make your own web applications better. See you next time.